As a believer, this set me free from assuming that I must be in my 30s and 40s and 50s before anything serious begins to happen to our lives. I realized early by the mercy of God like many people you know in my generation I begin to realize that you don't have to wait before serious things begin to happen through your life for the glory of God. Did somebody hear what I'm saying? You decide. The Bible says you seek me and find me. When you seek me with the whole of your heart. If that happens in 2035, when will you find him? Somebody please answer me. What if it happens in 2050? When will you find him? What if I called you out now? Esther, come. And you came out. Your roommates know you. They can't believe the word of knowledge just spotted you out. And now you have come out. Hands have been laid on you. And, you know, dramatic prophetic words were given, like it was given to me in 2013 about the things God will do in your life. If you start responding in 2055, when will it start coming to pass? As I'm standing here, there are pregnancies all over this hall. Some of them are five years due. Some ten years due. They passed the nine months span since. And this singular light is going to help somebody here to give birth to these promises as soon as possible. Is somebody here what I'm saying? No? So there's something that's greater than prophecy. Before I say what it is, what's prophecy capable of? Look through the scriptures. God did nothing until it was what? Until was spoken. Even the coming of Jesus. Thank you so much. It is the echo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Even the coming of Jesus had to be what? Prophesied. That is his way. That is his order. It will be spoken. Then it will come to pass. He does nothing until he reveals to his servants the what? The prophet. What's the purpose of that? So it can be what? Prophesied. It was through prophecy that the blessing was transferred from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob and so on and so forth. He released it through words that were charged. And when that thing lands on you, I'm sure you know there was no physical, you know, tangible thing that Abraham gave as inheritance to Isaac. Yes or no? Even if there was, I'm sure you know that's not what made Isaac rich. Yes or no? What made Isaac the dangerous person he was? It was those prophecies, those declarations, the blessing. That's what made barren lands become what? Fruitful. So as things are declared, people shift location. Of course, it's according, listen, a person can't bring you to a location he is not currently in. No matter how he's shouting, no matter how you are shouting. That's why things like this are set up by the mercy of God. I can't forget the struggle my father had doing mighty miracles all over the place, but only within the boundary of Nigeria. He became uneasy. Why is this thing not moving beyond this nation? went or traveled, traveled many miles to meet a man of God which I'm sure everybody here has heard about before and told the man I need deliverance and he is a deliverance minister asking for deliverance so the man laughed and said how can deliverance minister be needing deliverance eat and sleep we will talk so he ate and slept woke up the next day the man was cooking breakfast again he said sir you don't understand you are not taking me seriously. I traveled all the way with my wife so I can be delivered. And the man was laughing, making breakfast. At the end of everything, he said, Reverend, eat. When 
he finished eating, he declared to him, doors of nations open in Jesus' name. Listen, listen, listen. I'm telling you a story. Now, those utterances brought him from where he was in his location. To which location? To the location that man was literally standing in. And before the week was over, two calls. That's what makes this whole thing funny. Where were those angels all these years? Hallelujah. Now, I said all that to explain to you how powerful prophecy is. But there are one or two things, because of time, I'll probably touch only one. There are one or two things that are greater than prophecy. When I say prophecy, I'm talking about, you know, the release of prophetic words, word of knowledge, and so on and so forth. You know. Because there are many of us who don't feel we have been touched until something like that happens. Yes or no? Yes or no now? That's the only reason why words will be released. You will shout Amen and still meet the pastor after to lay hands on you because you don't believe what was said. Yes or no? Come on, yes or no? Even after the hands have been laid on you in the meeting. Let me say something quickly. The higher the measure of faith, quote and unquote, because the measure has been given to every one of us, is the same measure. But as you reduce your doubts, your faith what? Come on, are we together? So, for those of you who are very theologically balanced, that you cannot hear English, I mean, who are you? So I know, don't worry. Unless they are not here. So it's the measure of faith. But as you fast and as you pray, you shut down your what? Your doubts. And so the measure what? Increases. So when somebody says he has more faith than the other, and you have problem. Just choose as a believer to ensure that your life is simple. Don't complicate your work. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm hoping I don't get distracted as I'm speaking. Because it's those feedbacks that is affecting my utterance. I'm getting the feedbacks. Uh -uh. So, please. That's why I like to leave the, the notes or else... I want to answer those feedbacks. Jesus, hearing, responded to them as they were thinking it, not saying it or just in it. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, if you will be maximally blessed, then all questions must be what? Answered, irrespective of what was prepared. Hallelujah. We have leaders, right? In the house, right? Okay. So, as I was saying, what was I saying, sir? Shuts down doubt. Yeah, I was going somewhere with everything. There's something stronger than what? Prophets. Is that where I was? Okay. So I said, no matter how dramatically it happened, mine was dramatic. Bishop Wale, okay, some of you have heard the story. Ministry, finished ministry. Looked at me on the keyboard. I think the way I touched it, it activated his. You know, he's a prophet, not a bishop. I don't know if you are aware of that. Okay. So it activated the thing. And he looked at me. I was afraid. I froze. And he walked up towards me. Put his face towel on my head. That was... If that is all that happened. I don't know if you have hammer. So I was like, wow. Wow, it's happening. It's always beautiful when the spotlight. Yes or no? Listen, you would think you believe. That's the reason for word of knowledge. You see, in past faith, you would think you believe until your name is called. As a sister here, you have something on your left lung. Jesus is healing you now. The moment the word comes, at the same time, faith is imparted. Are you following? That's the reason. If you have the faith already, do you need the word of knowledge? Come on, I'm not getting your feedback. Do you need the word of knowledge? That's the reason for everything. No? I was about to say something. I remember now. The more the faith, 
I've explained, right? So the more the faith, the less the stress Jesus has to go through to help you. 